bad news. <laughs> I did not immediately taste Michigan when they came out of the oven last week. I'm currently cooking Minnesota's cookies. And when I went to go take the one that I saved to make this video, something happened. It was in a jar, an air sealed jar, but they were with cream cheese cookies. And I think the moisture from the cream cheese made the air in the container different. And it caused the pudding chip cookies to be soft, which is not how they were when I baked and cooled them. So, I did not feel like it would be an accurate representation of the cookies. So I will not be biting into them, but, but I still have notes that I can give you. And I did taste the batter because I was curious about what the pudding would do to the batter. And for those wondering, <laughs> the it was a richer cookie dough. So you know like regular chocolate chip cookies, you know how that batter tastes. Pretty sure everybody knows how that batter tastes. Think of it as a little richer and heavier. Um, not in a bad way, but in a vanilla pudding kind of way. Um, pudding is a little thick, so that's what it did to the batter. And the batter tasted good. I did lick it off my finger. And I had no complaints. <laughs> um, the I did use pecans as the nuts that they asked for, and then my the full batch made about sixty freaking cookies. Yes, sixty freaking cookies. Um, and I noticed even I thought they were underbaked for the first the first bake when I pulled it out after the. 10 minutes was up, they were a little pale. And I was like, but I think the pudding mix causes it to be pale um, because it's more, I don't know, because there's not as much brown sugar in there to darken it. And then added vanilla mix. I don't know. It sounds right to me. <laughs> um, so what I recommend is actually bumping up the 350. Yeah, so 350 is what it calls for. I did 375 at 10 minutes, and it um, they were baked. It took a lot longer when I did it at 355. It was more like 12 minutes. So, and you know, 60 cookies. I had to be pulling that shit in and out. Oh my god. So, I apologize for screwing up the video. Oh, Michigan went to Keith. He was nominated by my old high school friend, Stacy. She just had a baby. Congrats if you're watching. <laughs> I love seeing all your photos. Um, she played French horn with me in band. And for some reason, I remember you buying me a burger-shaped CD case for Christmas, like sophomore year. I don't know why. <laughs> um, Michigan has anybody ever been to Michigan? I've been once. It was when I road tripped with my old roommate. Many of you probably remember her, Angel. Um, we drove from Florida to Michigan because she was from Michigan and hung out there for like five days and then drove back. Um, I'm pretty sure I still have photos from that trip, which was like 11 years ago. I'm still mad my husband made me sell that car that we drove. We were breaking in my new car and, um, you know, put miles on it because I, I was so proud of myself for saving up and being able to buy a new car. The, Ford, the 2007 Ford Focus, everybody made fun of me for this car. I loved my Ford Focus with the hatchback in black um, and oh, loved that car. My husband convinced me to sell it a few years ago because it was 10 years old and slowly dying but I'm still bitter I really wanted to run that car and I'm so proud of it I bought it anyways this is going off topic and I'm hitting the five minute mark so I apologize for messing up the video I hope you enjoy this random <laughs> burst of knowledge with no cookie 
I will be back next week with Minnesota, which is currently baking. And yeah, guys, join the Cookie Kindness newsletter. You'll be able to get first dibs on states. And check out the Facebook group if you're not already watching us on the Facebook group. All right, I'll see you next week.